It's a hobbit. I'm Agent Saga <laughs> Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Forgot the actor's name, but he was also the main character in uh, Quantum Break, and he starred in Lord of the Rings and all that. So your deputy said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. I think he played Mary. Did he play Mary? No, no. The Bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, uh, you compare notes with the sheriff. Uh, your time. Uh, was he Mary? I'm trying to remember what Hobbit he was. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims? New Sheriff. Missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Cauldron Lake was fenced off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. Hmm. Is he gonna say the line? You know oh. Head, Anderson. oh, yeah. We'll be here. I was gonna say, hmm. Damn fine, cup of Joe. <laughs> I was waiting for that, but no. Oh, same layout. Oh, it's those two. I think they were there. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I think they're the I'm witnesses. And he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about. Okay. Why were you at Coljan Lake? What were you doing at Coljan Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. <laughs> I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. All right. Can you tell me what you saw? So what did you see in the woods? This... Naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Why do you think it was a cult? What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. Yeah. They were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found a... Found what? The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. Keeping a secret, huh? What's up with that? Profiling. Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. Mm. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. So they have crime scene evidence on their person. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The place was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. <laughs> How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Yep. Yeah, no point keeping it, girl. Told you not to keep it. Thanks. This could 
proved to be helpful. Oh shit. Is that the same girl? In case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh god. Saga! Saga Anderson. Oh, no, maybe not. Rose. Hey, is that the same girl? I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. Thing is, I think Rose was captured by the darkness, if that's the same waitress. So I wonder if she's been captured by it for so long. Cases. Hmm. <coughs> so let's see. The pickers describe multiple attackers wearing attacker profile. We're dealing with an organized group of killers. Not a lone serial killer. Very, very organized. Cult of the tree. I need to know more about the cult of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Mm, so the cult's goal. Ah. Where do we put this? What kind of cult? Who's involved? I hear cult symbol. And... Uh, maybe... There we go. <clears throat> so cult psychology hiding their faces aren't established enough to operate openly connections of deer fest truly can be used as subtle indicators of the members yeah if we see anyone wearing this type of thing we're gonna have to stop them and question them all right, we got to go to the jukebox. How exactly did we oh, chill her? Seen anything oh, wait, no. the ordinary in town That's the wrong button. Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious, but soon enough there will be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. So Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Mm. Take it easy. Alright, they better still have that song. Put the lime in the coconut. No, it's out of order. <laughs> you gotta hit it. Don't touch. All right, we'll do. It's like the ki kitchen's closed. Everyone hates small towns. Keep it down, Ed. You know how touchy these rural types can be. Hey there, Mr. Deer. <laughs> this is you random. Remind me of a dream I had. 
<laughs> it's a random like little uh, interaction with a deer head. I need something to force this open. Uh, we'll have to come back here. Thing is. Oh, it marks on the map. That's fucking cool. Oh, new choices of conversation in the diner. Oh, they got semi-working uh, mirrors. Don't seem like there's anything in the bathroom. Wonder if the uh, it's not opening. Lady of the Light is still in the game. Don't go into the dock. That's where the evil things are. <laughs> All right. So why not tell the police what you saw? The cult murdering a man is pretty extreme. <clears throat> why didn't you tell the police what you saw? We did. We told those two idiot deputies. They didn't listen, and they wanted to throw Ed and I in jail for that murder. Oh boy. You know, Bright Falls is just Alabama with bigger trees. <laughs> this is my case now. And no one is throwing you in jail. If you need anything else, just come to me. Got it. Thank you, Saga. All right. I guess the camera will kind of zoom out as we're done with uh, discussions. All right, let's look at the map again. Yeah, so the map's going to tell us... Uh, Important things. Oh, we need a screwdriver, and there's of course a lock. Hey, you think they serve avocado toast here? Avocado toast? No, they're not. Eggs and toast, yes, but not avocado and toast. All set. All set. Nightingale from Org. If you're ready to go, take a look. Let's go. Sir, have I ever said you're very handsome? Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something. <laughs> I played some D&D &D back in the day. The wizard was Morning, always my Sheriff. favorite. Looks like you have some I think he was referring to the KKK. <laughs> yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. And you guys uh, wearing necklaces? Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? BBQ. Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. Best not to take it personally. So we're going to the morgue. Corpses downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Where well, the sheriff station looks the same. Yep. Anything you need, just uh let us know. Looks absolutely it. the same. I'll be right with you, sir. Yep, yep. Just here to pay my ticket. Whenever you're ready to take my money. <laughs> Don't worry, FBI business. Agent? Ma'am? Looking around. Don't worry about me. As you know, the investigation is being taken over by the federal agents. Sheriff Breaker wants us to cooperate fully. Aye, aye, ma'am. I'm being serious, Nelson. All right. Oh. Oh, dear. I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. If only I had a tour guide, also. Bears. Oh no, a bear. Oh god. <laughs> the 
this is somebody called for a tour guide. Oh, wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm that guy in the beard looks familiar. Coffee Roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard... Is it the same actor in both scenes? In the same scene? That is true, Yanko. I think it is. Local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tour. Oh, they might be twins. But the government. Oh. We have both cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere. That actor is really familiar. I think I've seen him in a movie or a show. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. I'm gonna have to look him up. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. So I don't want to look up the cast just yet because there might be some spoilers in it. Of a lifetime is just one phone call away. He is very Look familiar. To get a nine percent discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner coffee thermos. Shit, this guy might actually be. He might have been in Game of Thrones. <laughs> now that I'm kind of thinking about certain characters. It's not a British actor or anything, but yeah, it's interesting seeing some familiar faces in this game. <laughs> I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Ah, good old morgues. So you've never been to the morgue in Alan Wake 1, so... Uh wait. I'm assuming we need a, either a key for that. Oh, we don't have a map for uh Oh, well, actually we'd be in Bright Falls, right? Uh but I guess there's a certain map just for the sheriff station. Uh the locked door. <laughs> it's like, are you coming? Oh, what's that? Oh, so we do have a supply. Where we uh, look at? It? Oh, hey, cool. Mm, nothing in there. Let me check out our inventory. We have a quick select area too. Well, I guess we'll find out how to... Oh, here we go. So we have a pistol. Uh, we probably can't equip that yet because we have no need for it. Oh, charms. Increase maximum health. Interesting. So there's charms in the game, ammunition, battery packs, and trauma pad. That must be our healing item. Restores a good amount of health. It doesn't budge. Dang. <laughs> Why is this closed off? I'm guessing there's an elevator that don't work anymore, so you guys have to carry the body like downstairs. Okay, let's take a look at our patient. All right. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. Yeah, check out bruising, lacerations. What was the cause of death? Well, cause of death is. Can the body give me? Definitely this. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. Check out the heart. There's writing on here. Can't writing on a heart? Writing? How'd they manage that? The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. Hmm. This is interesting because, uh. It's very odd. Yeah, if this is, uh. The FBI agent from the first game, man, he either got seriously bloated. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. I don't think he had tattoos, but we couldn't tell because he was wearing full clothing. 
Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. Okay, let's build it. Wait. We're on the right one, right? Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. <clears throat> Anything to learn from the body? Well, there's a couple things. As defensive wounds. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. It's not a cause of death, though. Cause of death would be this. And there's... Ritual writings. And then the bloating. This is interesting. Is cause of death, but the corpse is bloated, waterlogged. Doesn't add up. Man, because he was out of the lake after he got well, before he got killed. Then writings on the heart. <clears throat> hmm, maybe up there. So there's inscriptions. There's something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. So we got six ads. Hmm. Hopefully no one's eating uh, breakfast or lunch. Is that a manuscript in his chest? It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. The manuscripts from the first game? Fuck, he just disappeared. Sheriff? What the hell? Oh god. Show me the clicker. Casey! <laughs> Hmm. My gun's out in the hall. 
Gotta get it back. So that's the safe haven will restore some of the health you leave or attack from the safe haven while in combat it will become temporarily unavailable interesting uh, I'll wait until he circles around again where'd Casey go? The room. I need to find it. Alright. So he's in between me and the gun. I don't want to fuck with that. He's trying to find the clicker? the gun oh finished our first chapter
he didn't have a heart. All right. But he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. <clears throat> this was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. Hmm. Why are those were new manuscripts? They kind of knew some certain things. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns <clears throat> into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Hmm. Oh, weapon upgrades. Wait a minute. So there's weapon upgrading. Got the pistol. Ah, uh, what are these? Some type of token aspect. So we can increase the magazine size. Another headshot. Land two headshots in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. Again and again. Hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. Significantly increasing the rate of fire. Okay. Okay, we did that too. Says weapon upgrade and has two there. Okay, so it shows me how many. Is that like fragments or type the amount of uh, manuscripts I have? Maybe. <clears throat> we could probably listen to anything on the radio. My first ever prank on Casey, a true classic. I'm <laughs> just loosening the uh, top of a salt shaker. Yeah, that's kind of a dick move. Oh, what's in here? Oh, oh, that's how you leave, like, manually. If only the rest of the Bureau knew what a softy Casey is. <laughs> Eleven remaining. A what? Eleven re- what? What does that mean? <laughs> Eleven remaining. So the deer talks to us. Miss you, kiddo. Nah, oh, that's her kid. Mom may be gone, but whenever I read this, I feel like she's still here. Hmm. Now you'll rewatch television stuff here. Man manuscript pages are over here. Profiling. I don't think we have anything to do in the mind palace. Should be good to go. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Hmm. This poor son of a bitch didn't have a chance in hell. Casey, Cora, performing rituals, creating monsters. I'm guessing that would be a cult goal. Cult ritual. 
What is it? Hmm, victim's body organs covered in writing. Page found inside the chest. That be under cult goal or maybe symbols or cult psych. No. No. Ah, okay. This is under the ritual aspect. Uh, writing part of the ritual. Nightingale was the only victim to become a monster. Nightingale, but why? Victim of the cult killing became. Think. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Don't have all the pieces. <clears throat> oh, something's there. Oh, we actually have to look inside in order to get it. Must be locked from the other side. <sighs> Anything else around here that we could probably obtain? That girl died. Hmm. I can't get through this. So there must be something else I can do. I'll talk to Casey, maybe. The thing is, where did the sheriff disappear from? Because whatever box he dropped is probably the area we want to go. Or not box, but... Hmm. What if it vanished with him, though? How do we do? <laughs> Goal, figure out where Nightingale went. I mean, technically that manuscript helped. Anything on the floor? The heart is gone too. Did the fucker take it with him? Maybe. <clears throat> Heart's gone. Kind of wondering if I need to look through that manuscript again, maybe. Strangler case. Proud of that one. Was that in Colorado? <laughs> Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too. Nightingale was, but wasn't a taken. A creature of darkness. He was beyond her reach. Where some other strange reality, the dark place, merged with ours. This place and the dark place. A tarp thrown over top. 
drowning everything beneath it, a flood of darkness, soaking into everything, spoiling it, rotting it. The page called this area an overlap. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. This wants this overlap. Steps, a ritual. Saga would learn how. <clears throat> Stop the monster before he killed again. Her job, he'd be inside, waiting for her. I wonder if there's something on the board I'm not quite getting correctly. It doesn't seem like I can place things incorrectly, but I might have... Might have placed something incorrectly. Well, I can't take... No. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved. Forcing you into their twisted world. Hmm. Talk to someone. Find evidence. Profile someone. Huh. Okay. So you can find a little clues here and there. Do I need a profile? I think if there's anything new, it would probably say. Must be something I am not seeing. can't force it open. We can't leave here either. <clears throat> what happened to the other, like, police officers that are in this building? They just not hear the scuffle. What am I missing? Doesn't seem like we can talk to Casey either. I'm a little, a little lost. Can't be opened on this side. Hmm. Wonder if there's something else I can do. Trauma, painkillers. We got battery packs and all that stuff too. I am a little confused. There's gotta be something. I just don't know what, though. Why is it so hard to find out? Yeah, figure out where Nightingale went. How the fuck are we gonna do <laughs> The only thing I can think of is the whole, like, mind palace thing. I just don't know. Hmm. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives. Hmm. So we have a main case, background case, 
point of interest. It says I have three clues. Oh, that wasn't there before. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case hmm. we must solve. So I guess if I get stuck, there might be some hidden clues that probably didn't really pop up. Sangles is back in our cauldron like... Okay. Then we have another one. Says we still have another... Or maybe not another clue. So we did that. Well, I guess we need to go back to Cauldron. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. We need to get out of here. We, we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. Hmm. How is our health? Not fully healed. Be surprised what dead people could do. <laughs> you're trying to make sense of it. It's like, yeah, you're not gonna make sense of it, dude. They're a fine pair. Hmm. Oh, it's that lady again. Oh, it's a different way. Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. That was the same lady because it's a suit and everything, but she looks a little older than the other lady I saw. <laughs> Bathroom time. Wait a minute. It's a note. See, so yeah, top one says one of the stealing toilet paper, stealing toilet paper problems. <laughs> it's a share station for Pete's sake. One of these days, I'm gonna catch you and red-handed. And hey, who's stealing toilet paper? <laughs> what kind of nut counts toilet paper rolls? Sounds like. Got too much on time on your hands. I mean, someone's still in toilet paper rolls. You're gonna probably find out about that. Well, wow, holding cell. We have to do this, Walter. Huh? I'm at my wits end with you. I want out. Something bad's going down. I can feel it. Let me out. Oh. Overalls and all that. Anything in the cell? You think I like throwing you in jail every other day? No, I don't. Do you have any idea how much paperwork you're causing me? What's well, a lot? Uh, troublesome. <laughs> I can't force it open. No. All right, fine. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, a Agent Casey here. Yeah, we need backup. The Bright Falls case, 
Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Who's she behind a... What you looking at? That person in the backpack? Mercetta won't roll over on the issues. Okay, so there's an election I'm going on. A quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. Hmm. I don't think there's really anything to explore right now. Maybe a little bit later. Too bad that hot dog stand is not available. Just getting my bearings. Ready to go? Waiting on you. Well, let's go to Cauldron. Uh, rinse and repeat. Clock out, get a beer. Or maybe three. <laughs> maybe four. Maybe five. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey, murder case Casey, <laughs> sorry. Ha uh, ha. Uh, the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Okay, we're back here. <clears throat> The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Oh, someone's bike. Exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this Oop. mess. Nice bike. Nice. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. Woodrin Lake. It's very pretty. Or if they're gonna have like a photo mode. They don't have one now, but they should. <laughs> I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. <sighs> Who these guys? Hey, hello there. <clears throat> How are you folks doing? Those restricted areas. Do damn thing, huh? Hello, Saga Anderson. 
Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? Isn't that the guy from the commercials? How did you hear about the murder, Elmo? Maybe not. I don't know. Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna ya Vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. I think I know the actor. I think he plays the character in Vikings, uh, uh, Fine Hair. I, f I forgot the full name of it, but yeah. Yeah, I remember. I think he, I think that's the same actor because of his accent and everything is very familiar. And his face looked familiar too. It was like it was like it's not Game of Thrones, it's Vikings. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them. Yep. Or was protecting <clears throat> Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know what. Not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. And it seemed like the sheriff knew was what was about to happen, too. He's trying to urge whatever took him to not do it. Our crime scene's drowning. I never minded rain. Feels like Oh. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? <clears throat> Maybe something around here will tell us. <laughs> Maybe the triangles. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Good eye. Mm. After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved. Just heard that not too long ago. Twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around. Learn what this ritual is. Hmm. Case... The cold of the tree is behind these murders. <clears throat> this case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. Ah, uh, so you can close certain cases. Cold case. Exciting. <laughs> All right. So if a case is closed, I guess we'll put a photo on it. Maybe. Where would this go? Colt goals, cult symbols, probably. 